Welcome to the beginning of a new era in county government and politics. I'm Hans Riemer, president of the Montgomery County Council. It's my honor to bring greetings to you at the inauguration of the 19th Council and to share my thoughts on the road ahead. I'll begin by saluting a remarkable man who inspired confidence in our county's leadership, Isaiah Leggett. Thank you for everything. I Together with Catherine, you have guided this county on its journey as we have transformed from farmland suburbia to inclusive metropolitan Montgomery. For my colleagues from the 18th Council who are moving on, Roger Berliner, Nancy Florine, and George Leventhal, thank you for your dedication to public service. To our new county executive, Mark Elich, thank you. Thank you, Mark, for your work on the council. Congratulations on your victory and best wishes for success. Today, we welcome new voices to council leadership. Gabriel Albernos, Andrew Friedson, Evan Glass, and Will Jawando. We are looking forward to your contributions. You'll join an outstanding council, including Tom Hucker, Sidney Katz, Nancy Navarro, and Craig Rice. In the four years ahead, we will engage in spirited discussions while upholding our council's traditions of professionalism and respect. We probably don't all agree on everything at the council, but friends, you don't either. That is what makes democracy so vital and exciting. We work through our differences to find a way forward. And if there is one thing you can count on, it is that even if the federal government is no longer responsive to the views of our country's majority, Montgomery County is going to continue to set an example of effective governance. We will strive for an inclusive community that respects and values the contributions that every single person can make to our world. And we will reject politics that rely upon telling some Americans that they are not welcome. In Montgomery County, every resident counts, no matter who you are, what you look like, or where you're from. This is... This is not only a matter of our values, it is the key to our success. Montgomery County is changing. We are not the same community that we were 30 or even 15 years ago. Some might see it differently, but I believe that we are changing for the better as more and more families are able to find success in the corner of the world that we have made. Today, our county is a complex, dynamic, inclusive, cosmopolitan community. From farms to high-rise apartments, there are Montgomery County residents living out just about every kind of lifestyle you can imagine. Our past decisions to support new housing, public transportation, and education continue to pay dividends. But as our community has grown larger and more complex, so have our needs. If we want to continue to be an inclusive and welcoming community, then there are some basics we have to get right. There needs to be a place for everyone to live. We need reliable transportation. Young people need a great education. Immigrants and others starting out need an on-ramp to the economy. It all begins with economic development. Government can do a lot to improve our lives, but good jobs are the foundation of every successful family, neighborhood, and community. My wife Angela and I have two amazing little boys. I hope that they'll stay close when they grow up, but I'm worried that even if they want to, they won't be able to. First, they'll need to find a job here that supports their dreams. The federal government, a key building block of our local economy, isn't expanding that fast anymore. To provide opportunities for the next generation, 
we'll need our private sector job base to grow. Then, if our boys can find their career path here, they'll want a place to live. But we have a housing crunch that is, and there's not enough supply. That causes prices to go up. The affordability crisis, in turn, causes resentment, as our younger generations wonder why, after taking on debt to get the same education and career potential their parents had, they can't afford to live where they grew up. To make room for the next generation, we need more housing. And absolutely, that means we need to build schools, public transportation, and other infrastructure to support that growth. But just as we reject an immigration policy that says, sorry, we were here first, we must reject a housing policy that doesn't recognize that we all share a responsibility for building and maintaining the infrastructure that we use, not just the new generation that is trying to make our county home. Our region enjoys a growing technology economy. Our ability to attract technology companies and their employees here also depends on our ability to connect to other job centers in DC and increasingly in Northern Virginia. We must restore Metro to world-class status, but that's not enough either. As a region, we should re-envision Mark and Virginia's VRE as a DMV commuter rail network. Imagine a one-seat ride from the 11 stops in Montgomery County all the way to National Landing. While we thank Governor Hogan for putting the focus on 270, now is the time for us to work with our state delegation to support our clean energy future by ensuring this project makes transit a real priority. So welcome to our state elected officials here in the audience today. We have made great strides on county issues these past few years, and we know we can count on you. With the Kerwin Commission's education recommendations coming soon, we'll be working together to ensure that what happens in Annapolis is good for Montgomery County school children. Because if we are gonna create prosperity for everyone, nothing is more important than preparing our young people to step up and fill the science and tech jobs across our region. It starts with early childhood. In the past two years, the council has made great strides on early education. Providing a high quality pre-K slot for every low income four-year-old is now within our grasp. We could do it this council term or even sooner within our budget and ensure that every single child starts kindergarten ready to learn. This generation of digital natives knows how to use technology. We just have to show them how they can turn a passion for technology into a career, no matter what zip code they call home. As our education leaders know, we must reinvent STEM learning so that it is cutting edge, relevant, and exciting. Luckily, Montgomery County is home to KID, a wonderful partner that is working with MCPS to do just that. And with the leadership of our Board of Education and the vision of our superintendent, Jack Smith, we're on the verge of a breakthrough. But to achieve it, we need a new approach to high school that is outside the box. We need opportunities for students to learn in new environments that are closely related to our local employers and career pathways, aligned with course credit at Montgomery College and the University of Maryland. Let's look to our downtowns, downtowns that we are reinventing with contemporary bike and pedestrian infrastructure, breweries and nightlife, restaurants, transit, fast internet, and affordable housing, and find buildings we can repurpose for 21st century high school academies. And finally, we must meet these challenges as we continue to be disciplined with our budget. Rainy days will surely come again. We must continue to save while the sun is shining. Mr. Leggett and the council have put us on the right path and we should not stray. So welcome to my new colleagues on the county council. I know how eager you are to meet the challenges before us. Working together with the county executive, our state delegation, our U.S. Senators and our members of Congress, and most of all, the entire community, you here today and everyone in our great county, we will help this county achieve new heights. Thank you very much.